Hi, you're with Chandeep Chhabra at Gurli and today I am super stoked because this is the 100th blog post on Gurli. Now there is something about the 100 number. It kind of feels really nice to make a century in anything. Uh, I re remember the time when I wrote the first blog post and I was thinking then when will I write the 100th blog, blog post. Well that is today and uh, I'm going to talk about something really really cool today which is uh, five classic animation styles for stunning presentations. Now these styles are going to make your presentations look absolutely stunning. I've used them uh, for my consulting projects before and it has left my clients in jaw-dropping faces. So without any further ado, five classic styles for animations guys. All right, now we move on to our first animation which is uh, fades for shifting focus. In this slide, we are talking about six locations where the company has offices, which we are showing in a world map. We then move on to talk about just one location, which is San Francisco. Notice that we have faded off everything else apart from San Francisco location so that the attention of the audience can be smoothly moved from the world map to just one location. And then, you know, when the rest of the items and the objects are faded, we can talk more about San Francisco. So we will say that uh, since when it is headquartered, uh, how many number of employees, what's the revenue, and if you have any more points. So let's delve deeper to see that how can we create these fades, you know, for moving the attention of the viewer from one slide or from one object to the other. Okay, so uh, we have the slide here, and in this slide we already have got uh, a couple of things. So the first thing that we already have is the map. This is the picture of the world map. You can get it anywhere. Uh, additionally, if you download the presentation, you would also get it in the presentation. The other thing that we have is these text boxes, which write the name of the city. And we have these uh, objects. Uh, these are also like teardrops, uh, which point to the location, uh, wherever the location is, right? So for the animation, what we need is a big box which is going to be covering the entire map and uh, we would need a hole in that box so that uh, San Francisco is uh, clearly visible. rest, everything is faded away. So I'm going to create that box, going to insert and then shapes and then I'll click on rectangle. I'll draw one. Uh, Alright, so I have the rectangle with me. Then the other thing that I would need is another circle which is going to create a transparency in this big rectangle so that San Francisco is visible. So just going to put this aside for a while and then insert shapes and then a circle. Notice that if you have to draw a perfect circle you can use the shift key when you are drawing the circle. Right click and the fill is no fill. and I will place it exactly in the center and then put it to the left and I'm going to select both of these. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hole in this big box so that San Francisco location is visible when I run the animation. So select the smaller circle that we've made, uh, select the larger box that we've made, go to the format tab and in the format tab click on merge shapes right? and we want to do a combination right now right click on uh, the entire shape now this has become one um, outline as no outline and fill as white now if you see that this has come up wherever the circle was there it has left a transparency there like a hole there and uh, wherever I drag it you'd be able to see that location right so this is how it works the combination option in the format tab Alright, so now that we have uh, the box which is hiding uh, all the other cities apart from San Francisco, but I don't really want to hide them completely. I want to fade it, right? Like a little transparency I want to retain. So I'm going to click on that box that we've just made, right click and go to format shape. And right now the transparency is zero, which I'm going to turn it to 20% so that um, a bit of the map is, uh, you know, kind of visible so that. Uh, it's not too visible to gather a lot of your attention, but kind of fade away. 
All right, I'm just going to put this aside and work with the rest of the slide. Now, the other thing that I want is when I run the animation, I certainly want the map to be faded away, which is going to be a function of this box that we've created. But I also want these text boxes to disappear, right? So I'm going to select the text boxes and go to animation. And then I want to you know, make them exit once I run the animation. So clicking on the animations and moving down to exit, there are a couple of parts here. So the first is entrance, if you want to have an entrance animation, emphasis animation, exit animation. So in exit, I want them to fade away, right? This is the smoothest of all that I really like. So fade away, that's about it. And I also want these uh, teardrops, these are objects, to kind of become a little smaller in size when I run the animation. So animations and then emphasis and then I want them to shrink, right? So as of now, uh, they're growing, but uh, I want vice versa. So I'm going to go in the effect options once I've applied the effect and then click on smaller that I want them to become smaller, right? So they'll become smaller. But as of now, they're taking way too much time, like two seconds. I don't want that. I just turn it down to just half of a second, right? All right, so this is what I have. Let's just see how does it look in the animation uh, pane. This is the animation pane. So all of these four will disappear, four or five cities, and then all of the four or five teardrops will uh, become smaller in size. But let's run all of this together. So right click on this and then say that you want to run this with the previous, start with the previous. So all of this runs together. So click here, play the form. Okay, perfect, that's, that's fine. Then uh, after these uh, cities and the teardrops, is, uh, teardrops have disappeared, uh, what I want to do is I want to bring the faded box on top of the map and highlight only San Francisco. So I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to go in the animations and I will do an entrance effect of fade, right? Click on the fade and that's it. Right, so, and I want this to happen after these animations have got done. So, after these animations are done, that means the cities have disappeared, the names of the cities, and the teardrops have become smaller. Then, I want this, uh, you know, faded away, the transparent box to appear, right? So, after. So, I click on this and you can choke, you can kind of pick uh, either of the two options. So, start after previous is what I chose, right? All right, so let's see how this runs. Perfect. All right, so the other thing which is happening is that San Francisco is uh, getting hit behind the transparent box, which I don't want. I right click on that and say, please bring it, bring that to the front. That's in the front. I think it should run fine. Perfect. All right, and uh, now once uh, you faded away the map, you've taken off all the cities. Now you want to bring up bring out the critical details of this city that you want to talk about right so i'm going to go over to the previous slide that we saw and here is where i've made it copy that and then paste it here bring it here all right now what i'm going to do is i'm also going to fade or apply a bit of animations to this so in the animations tab i will say that please fade them away but I don't want all of them to appear at once. All of them appear at once, but I want them to appear one by one, one after the each other. So right click and then say after the previous and this. So the first, this is gonna come, then this and then the rest, right? All right, so let's see how this works. So I'm just gonna start from the top and play form. Perfect, perfect. So if you just saw what I've done is I have, first I was just trying to show, show all the cities where uh, you would have all the cities in the map and you're just talking, you know, where all do you have offices. Then I moved your attention from all the cities and the world map to just talk about one city. So I faded the map. I used the fading technique to fade away the map, fade away the rest of the cities and bring only San Francisco in front of you to talk about that. So I talked about the headquarters. Um, the number of employees, 
the revenue and any other points that you may have. This is just a dummy slide, so we have kind of made up these points. But you got the idea, I'm sure. So you can use this animation technique for uh, fading away, uh, for shifting the focus of the audience from one piece of information to the other piece of information, right? So that's all it takes. I hope you really like this video. Stay tuned for the rest four videos that are coming along. And uh, thanks for watching. Do take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.